More bedrooms equal more dollars. Alex, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and folks, if you're new to Holton Wise TV, this is the show where you hire me, you hire my team, we give you a breakdown of unbiased advice and information on either the properties you sent to us that you were interested in, that maybe you were offered for sale by other realtors, wholesalers, direct mail, bank tapes, REOs, whatever, you name it, or... You give us your criteria. You tell us how much money you have, how you're financing it. You ask us questions about how we can help you finance because we have a ton of lenders nationwide, which, by the way, if you want that list, you can get it free of charge. Send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. We'll get that to you. Essentially, you tell me where you're at, what you're working with, and what you want to accomplish, and we will try to help you make that happen. And what we're doing today, we're doing it... Uh, with a client of mine, his name is Alex. Alex, uh, what you've tasked me to do today, you've been watching uh, the show, you watch Holton Wise TV all the time, and uh, what you really like, you like Section 8, and you like uh, bigger bedroom homes because the bigger bedroom homes, you're trying to get as much rent as you can possibly get under one roof, which makes sense, right? That's a pretty reasonable goal. Uh, so I want to walk you through a property to test out this strategy and just kind of talk to you about how this is all going to work out, how it's going to play out. Uh, you know, just go over some information on, uh, I'm sure you have some thoughts and uh, some ideas, and I just want to kind of clarify some things and see if this property makes sense for you. If so, we'll move forward. If not, let me know. Give me some feedback after this video, and we'll adjust accordingly when I do the next video and the next video and the next video, because you've contracted with us to do 10 videos. We're going to break down 10 properties for you. So this is the first nine to follow. What do we got, brother? Nine. 251 Abbey Avenue, Euclid, Ohio, 44119. Now, this is uh, priced $92,000, a little bit higher than your budget. Don't worry. I, I, I know that. I'm aware of that. I factored that in. I know you want to stay between 60 and 80K. But what you're trying to do, bro, you're trying to stay in that range, but you're also trying to get uh, around $1,200 in rent. You said maybe as high as 14. Uh, it's pretty tough. I don't think you're going to really get 14 in Cleveland. Definitely not in your price range. Like if we want to up the price range to maybe like, I don't know, $140,000, $150,000, uh, we might be able to find something bigger. Um, to get that kind of rent, but I can get you close to the $1,200 in rent. As a matter of fact, this particular property is already right there. Now, one thing I want to just clarify with you, though, before we even talk about this property anymore, actually, I want to go to the FAC on HoltonWise.com, all right? And I'm going to go to the uh, property management FAC, and then right here, we can get right to the Section 8 FAC. Here is the chart. Now, Section 8, dude, <laughs> I don't even know how I want to start this. Section 8 is great. I love Section 8. I'm getting the impression that you love Section 8. And this right here, okay, this is CMHA, okay? That's the Cuyahoga Metro Housing Authority. That is the housing authority in this particular area uh, that handles the Section 8 program. Wherever you're at, there's going to be a housing authority in that particular area that manages the Section 8 program. Now, this says their payment standard. So for three bedrooms, their payment standard is uh, 1293 Four bedrooms, 1358 uh, five bedrooms, fifteen sixty-two over here. They got HUD's fair market rents, fourteen twenty, twelve thirty-five, one thousand one hundred seventy-six. Now I'm gathering, based upon what you told me, what you're looking at. You're looking at this particular chart, and you're like, hell yeah, bro! Four beds, five baths will be like twelve on the low, 
115.62 on the high. We'll go Section 8. Now, I totally understand where you're coming from on that, and that makes sense. And, uh, you know, a reasonable human being uh, w would see that chart and kind of get that hint. <laughs> section, <laughs> section 8, again, is great, man. It's great, but it's not the most organized uh, or efficient uh, program out there, right? So the first thing I want to say about Section 8, man, is you should utilize Section 8 as a tool when you're looking to buy properties in areas where the collection of rent is going to be inconsistent at best. So like when we get into C, it starts to be okay, starts to make sense. When we get into D, I consider it to be a necessity if you're in F neighborhoods, total necessity, right? So you want to chase the Section 8 cash flow because, again, dude, I freaking love Section 8. But the thing is, I, I'm honest and I understand what I'm dealing with. I know it's not a perfect program. But if you want to, to chase Section 8, you want to chase it into the low-income neighborhoods, the risky neighborhoods. Section 8 is awesome to get you rent stability. Now, to just inflate your rents, get your rents higher, not necessarily always the case. Now, they say this is their payment standard, but here's the thing. Every property you do, they go out and they inspect it and they give you a valuation. But I've said this on many, many shows. If you ask one question to five Section 8 employees, you're going to get five different answers. And you're going to get different valuations every time. So I can't guarantee you you're ever going to hit the rents in this particular chart. Uh, it, it's hit or miss, dude. Sometimes they give us like really high valuations and we're like, yeah. Sometimes they give us low valuations. I've had like literally identical properties in the same neighborhood. And Section 8 has given us a value of like over a hundred dollar variance and i'm not talking like you know a hundred dollars is not a lot of money we're talking like a three thousand dollar rent versus a thirty one hundred dollar rent but when you're talking about like 650 versus 750 a hundred dollars is a pretty big chunk of that rent so you're going to see variances so just thinking that we can get this much rent uh in neighborhoods uh where we're gonna find houses for 60 to 80k and we're just going to section eight them to to get this rent i'm not too keen on that breaking down exactly like that is. I mean, we can probably get sort of close, uh, but I don't want you to totally bank on that. Again, Section 8 is really amazing when you're going to try to find an area where the rent collection is in unstable and you want to make sure it's stable, smooth, you know, streamline that, make sure that money keeps coming in on a consistent basis. Uh, to just get really high rents, like fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500 in rent, probably not the best method, right? Like you get that much rent in the Cleveland market by going to a nicer neighborhood. And uh, 60 to 80K houses in this market just don't rent for that much money very often, right? So I want to, to break that down for you first. Now, as for this property though, so I'm not trying to like deflate your whole strategy. I'm just trying to make sure you have a reasonable assumption uh, of how this is all going to play out, what's practical for your strategy, right? What did uh, they say? By the way, this is listed. It's, it's listed for 92 k like I said, by Cleveland Property Management. They already got a tenant in there. Investor's dream, long-term tenant on a lease through April 30th, 2021, paying 1020 plus all utilities. Nicely maintained home on a quiet street. Now, uh, while we go through the photos... Uh, you know, as you can see, it's pretty nice, right? You know, we got neutral colors, hardwood floors, it's, you know, not not too shabby. The kitchen's a little dated, but, you know, there's already a long-term tenant in there. No big deal. Just a, you know, standard rental property. Uh, we have four beds and two baths, right? So it's bigger. It's one of those big ones that you are looking for. Now, as far as that rent goes, right, 1020 plus all the utilities. On my chart here. You see, I got the you know the nice easy layout for you, dude. Four beds, two baths. You see my rent? I upped it. I upped it to one thousand ninety-five because that's really what we're getting. Thirteen thousand one hundred forty, right? So next chart I want you to look at. This is the breakdown of normal expenses, right? One thousand ninety-five comes in. An average, a monthly average of five eighty-two goes out, leaving us with a monthly average NOI of five thirteen. Some months are going to be better, some are going to be worse. Now I want to bring your attention to the water sewer section. I got seventy-five written there, right? Now this is rented at a thousand twenty. I have changed the rent on here to $1,095, and I have added a $75 water charge. The reason being, in Cleveland, it's freaking impossible to enforce uh, water sewer bills onto the tenants. Anybody who does is just 
barking up the wrong tree. So back to that fact where we learned about Section 8, right? Just go back to the regular property management fact way down at the bottom. Because, by the way, guys, if you're new to Holton Wise TV, this fact, you got to read this, man. We try to break everything down for you up front. That's our whole thing here is just trying to get you guys the most upfront uh, breakdown of what's going to happen you know, when you buy rental property from us. Like, this it is what it is, right? I'm not necessarily here to sell you. I don't got to sell you on the rental, rental property industry, right? People have been buying properties for hundreds of years, man. It, this is how you can become very wealthy. So I just want to, like, give you what it is. Like, hey, this is it, dog. You either want to buy stuff or you don't. Don't matter to me if you want to buy stuff or not. I'm not going to fluff it, right? I'm going to give it to you straight. But this right here, okay? I would like to charge the tenants for water and sewer. Will you bill my tenants? And then this whole thing here explains why we will not. So I'm not going to burn a bunch of time right now explaining why we won't. I want you to go and read that. Just holdwise.com, click our fact, read the other stuff in there too. A lot of good stuff in there for you, man. Uh, but after you read that, you see what we're dealing with. You'll see it don't make any damn sense to charge a tenant a thousand twenty and then make them pay their water sewer. You know, the average water sewer is about seventy five. So what we'll do is if you were to purchase this property, we were to take over the management on this property, we would just get that tenant a new lease. You know, so long as you go up to tenants and you explain to them, hey, your rent's not going up. You're paying 1020 and you're paying your own water sewer bill. We're going to take care of the water sewer bill now, uh, and we're just going to you know, add it to your rent, make it the same. So you're still going to net the same, right? Still the same net payment to you. You go to your tenant. You explain that to them. They see that it's just easier, it's smoother, it's more streamlined. They're real actual cost of living there doesn't go up whether or not their lease is expired they will usually voluntarily sign that new lease agreement right so that's why we would do that that's how we'd get that 1095 in rent and that's how i came up with the noi average of 513 now price okay i think that this particular seller is optimistic that they're going to sell this thing at 92000 I don't see that happening. And the market agrees with me because it's been on the market for 143 days. I don't think anybody's coming in there to buy this rental property at 140 or with 143 days on the market, right? Over 143 days, people have said, nah, dude, we're not paying 92000 I think this particular seller looked at the comps in Euclid and they, they priced it. Uh, comparable to what like a vacant single family would sell to an owner occupant for, right? Uh, that's not what it's going to sell to an investor for, and the market has proved it, right? 143 days, no no bites, right? And um, as far as like an owner occupant buying a rental occupied property, that's not happening. Like that doesn't make any goddamn sense, like, especially because it's you know under lease for a whole nother year. So I think because of that, bro. I think we can go in there and we could pick it up at 77. I think that's the ideal price for you. Now maybe we got to pay a little bit more. You know, I, I would like you to top out at like 80k, but I think 77 is the perfect price for this asset. If you pay 77 for this with our NOI of 513, that's an eight cap. Finance it. We'll use the lenders I talked about, right? Anybody who needs my lenders, sales at holtonwise.com. They'll loan you 57 G's. You only got to bring in 20 G's. Do that. After you pay off your mortgage, we're looking at a 16.8% cap with a nice long-term tenant paying a decent amount in rent. And then after that tenant eventually leaves, um, if you want to go Section 8, totally cool. We could also go cash. I love the Euclid neighborhood. Very, very nice neighborhood. There is a lot of great high-quality tenants in Euclid. Recently, they just added an Amazon fulfillment center. Okay, And for people who don't know, couple things about Amazon. Number one, their minimum wage that they pay all people is 15 bucks an hour, right? Doctors ain't going to rent this house from you. Lawyers ain't going to rent this house from you. People with no money ain't going to rent this house from you, right? So you don't necessarily need to have a lot of doctors and lawyers living in this area, but you don't want a bunch of people who don't make any money. What you want is people who make about $15 an hour. That's your tenant base, right? So that's great. Number two, we're coming out of COVID. I don't know if anybody realizes this or not, but there's a lot of businesses that got hurt really bad during COVID. Uh, bars, restaurants, hair salons, things of that nature, tattoo shops, sports, right? A lot of those people lost money. Well, guess who made a lot of freaking money? 
Jeff Bezos, Amazon, Amazon, <laughs> Amazon, pretty much everything shut down. And then Amazon just kind of took it all over, right? So if you're looking for a quality neighborhood uh, where your tenant base is not in danger of their jobs going away, I think this is solid. So I don't even think you really need to worry about Section 8 here. I think cash paying tends to be great. Again, when you get into struggling neighborhoods, that's when I like to go Section 8. So that's what I'm. Uh, that's what I got for you today, Alex. Let me know uh, if you know I kind of changed your viewpoint on a few things. Let me know if you want to move forward making an offer on this particular property. I think we picked this sucker up at 77, dude. You are doing good. Uh, oh, one more thing. One more thing in the show notes. If, if anybody who's watching this has not heard of the term point of sale violations, pause this video, click the show notes below, watch that video, come back. Now that I'm assuming everybody uh, knows what I'm talking about when I say point of sale violations going forward here. They have not said anything to us about the POS, um, so I'm not sure if they've ordered it yet. But our offer, we're going to want to get this at 77 contingent on a point of sale violation free home. I don't think you need to pay 77 k and fix any POS violations. I think you picked this up at 77. You deserve to get it point of sale violation free. And that's what my team will negotiate with the sellers to try to do that for you. So that is my thoughts on this particular property, Alex. Let me know if you like this. Let me know if I've given you new information that makes you kind of want to change your strategy. And we'll uh, work towards that on the second and the third and the fourth and so on. Uh, the next properties, man. This is a give take thing, bro. We go back, we go forth, we adjust, right? Real quick, before I go, though, everybody else, if uh, you like what I'm doing with Alex and you want my team to do it with you, uh, go to holdnoise.com, property search for sale tab. You got two ways to buy properties from us. The first is the investment properties for sale show. So if you guys want to see video tours of the inventory we're putting on the market, we are the number one seller of rentals in Cleveland. Check that out. Subscribe to our mailing list. We'll send the show to you every day at 1 o'clock. If you want to just... Tell us about yourselves. Give us your information and put us to work for you and for you only. Have us negotiate on your behalf with these sellers. Give you our insight. Because uh, a lot of times, you know, we're dealing with people that are, you know, selling houses. They're accidental landlords or they're realtors that uh, don't usually work in the rental game. They don't really understand it too much. So, you know, when I'm going against a, you know, a nice little realtor who's only used to selling houses to people that are going to live there in fancy little suburbs, you know, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but uh, to toot my own horn here. But when we're doing negotiations, you know, I, th I think you're probably going to be in the better, uh, better spot because there ain't nobody who knows the rental market better than I do, right? So if you want that, you want to work with our team. Uh, go to the MLS Search Now show. You can pick a package. We got the 10 property package, which is what Alex did. That's our most popular package. But we also offer various other packages ranging in price, uh, depending on how many properties you want to look into. If you want my team to physically go to the property, film it, uh, yada, yada, et cetera, et cetera. So check all that out if you want to work with us. Again, if you want a list of my lenders, free of charge, no commitment, salesholtonwise.com to help you out. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. 
The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REAP has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REAP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. RentTech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With RentTech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and RentTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.